So um, I'm Max Schmidt, working as a consultant at Liquid Reply, um, and I will give you a little showcase today about our KWASM operator that we created, which provides you an easy way for running your WebAssembly workloads in your Kubernetes clusters. Um, so what KWASM actually is doing, um, it provides you a way for your local clusters, for example, that you created with um, Kind, Minikube, MicroKubernetes, or um, Kukulima to uh, run your WebAssembly workloads, and it also works on managed services like Azure AKS, um, the Google Kubernetes Engine, AWS EKS, or basically any provider. Um, but so there are some uh, limitations, as you can see uh, in this table. For example, um, for Minikube um, and Kulima, uh, it's required that Container D is used. Um, and as you can also see, the yellow arrows for GCP and AWS, um, when you create your cluster, you need to configure your nodes or like the cluster to be running uh, Ubuntu and Container D, so it will only work with Ubuntu nodes for these cloud providers. Um, and now to get a little bit into more detail on how it actually works and what this is doing. So on the left side, you can see a little diagram. Um, so you have your nodes in your cluster and you create an annotation on these nodes. So you annotate uh, the node. This will be picked up by our operator um, and once the operator sees a node with a specific annotation, um, it will create a job in your cluster. Uh, that the job you can actually see here on the on the right side. So this job is then in charge uh, with our KWASM node installer image uh, that we created to um, provision this annotated node. Um, and this is working uh, with a patched C run. Um, that is being installed on your node directly uh, with WebAssembly support. Um, in the case of a spin, the container D shim spin will be used. So now let's jump into a quick demo, um, which is actually not live. Um, so uh, the first thing that you would do when you have your um, your node uh, provisioned by the operator is that you create a runtime class with the C run handler uh, in this demo. And then we would create a pod. Um, this is just an example pod using the example Vasi image, um, so we can actually get some output. And you can see that we have um, an annotation for this Kubernetes pod, which executes. Uh, which, sorry, which tells CRUN how to execute the container. This is the Compat Smart annotation that you see on the screenshot. Um, and if we go a little bit uh, to the bottom, uh, you see a node selector, um, because the annotation you can see, the KWASM provisioned annotation is actually created on the already provisioned node by the operator, so that the pod will really only get scheduled on nodes in your cluster that are enabled for um, WebAssembly support, because you may have multiple nodes and you don't want every node to uh, schedule your WebAssembly um, workloads. And at the very bottom of, uh, of the pod, you can see the runtime class that we just created. So this needs to be specified, the CRAM runtime class. Um, of course, in this demo now, there's no operator installed. So you can see that it's not being scheduled. Um, because there's no provisioned node. What we will do now is we will install the operator using our um, Helm chart that we created. So you would add the Helm repository if you want to check this out locally. Um, then you will install our Helm chart into your cluster. And then at the very last line, uh, we will actually do the annotation that I talked about. So we will annotate the node um, with KWASM SH slash KWASM node equals true. And then the operator will deploy um, the provisioner job into the cluster, which um, would then enable the node for WebAssembly support. 
And once this is done, if we now go back to the same pod that previously was not scheduled, we will see that it was scheduled. And when we will check the logs uh, for this pod, we will see that um, that's like the default output of the WASI sample container. Um, and that's it for the Kawasm operator. Um, thank you very much. This was actually my first talk I ever had. So it's uh, kind of excited. Um, if you have any more questions to this, I want to get a live demo. Um, we have a booth here at the KubeCon. Um, I will be very happy to, to show you this in a little bit more detail. Um, if you want to check it out yourself, you can visit kwasm.sh. We provide getting started instructions for different um, providers. Um, or you can also contact us directly at liquidreply.com. Thank you very much, uh, Mas. Um, we have time for one or two questions. If, if there are no questions, I do have uh, some questions. I don't know if you can compare these to some of the other um, efforts in, in the space, uh, how it relates to Rungwasi or some of the projects that, that came before. What, what other interesting projects you see in the space uh, bridging Kubernetes and WebAssembly? <laughs> I actually can't really give you an uh, answer to this. Um, I'm not a WebAssembly expert. I really just created this operator. Um, so I'm not really that much involved in WebAssembly itself, um, but it's uh, really uh, yeah, I was really just creating this operator to, yeah, Swen, actually my colleague, it seems like maybe has more answer because he's the WebAssembly uh, professional. So maybe he can say something. Yeah, thank um, Thank you for the question. Uh, regarding that, it actually uh, leverages run Wasi. So uh, it's not a runtime itself, it's an installer and it uh, uses the um, WebAssembly uh, runtimes that are around and also different image formats. So on Thursday, we will have at uh, 11 at our booth a short demo of the not yet released uh, Wasm Worker Server 1 Wasi uh, shim together with Angel. So um, if you want to come, so we have a demo. Thank you so much. Looking forward to that. Um, any other questions? Okay, thank you. Please give a round of applause to Max and uh